145 pound contest in the women's mixed martial arts, Laura Daughter. Looks like Laura Daughter trains out of Team Rock in Henderson, North Carolina. Grace Greco walking to the cage obviously has many people here supporting her. We've got two long rangy fighters at 145 pounds with the cage door locked behind them and it's time to see what happens. Here we go, round one. Greco in the multicolored shorts. Daughter in all black. Engaged in a clinch scenario. Both Very women good. throwing oh. knees, and we are now down to the ground. Daughter closing up full grip. Set up the triangle here very well. Rubber guard could be a very tricky it's situation. Be hard to posture and rubber guard. And arm switch right off to up. the arm bar. She's going to need to use that tripod. Knee on the face. Good job. But she's got to get out. She's got to get her elbow free. Referee warning her to not hold the gloves, which is illegal in MMA. Grace has got her thumb up. She says she's good. I want to get that like that. Very good. She's in fight to come on. In transition, top. looks like at a back to the back. Very good. Nice. And both women are back on the feet now. Very nice leg kick. Ooh. Both landing solid shots. Yeah, absolutely. Up against the fence. Daughter pressing up Greco. The underhooks by Greco there, so you should be able to utilize those. Nice knee. Yeah, some good knees from Greco there. She's trying to pin her up against the fence. And yeah, for sure. Make her carry her weight, tie her out. Good control. Yep, just controlling. This is Laura's using really good head position here, making it difficult for Grace to hold her against the cage, but she's still pinned her. Yeah. Having... Good knees from Grace. The, the clinch aspect of fighting, if you're not familiar with it, can be one of the most frustrating aspects. However, it, it doesn't always look like much is going on, but I guarantee you they are jacking for position. Oh, and throwing knees geez. into the mix is making it that much harder. That's the end of the first. Both these women came to put in work.
her for landing. All right, round two. Both fighters look eager and ready to get after it. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, so you have a matchup between nice left-handed and right-handed. Oh, nice short punches. Daughter tried to back her up into the yeah, Kenza, yeah. got turned Great at the last good minute. Good job of turning into the cage there. Greco's good got the underhook. Yeah, good leg positioning and control from, from Grace. Some good head fighting there. You can tell yeah, there's absolutely. like two giraffes and they're just banging their skulls off each other. <laughs> yeah, doing a good job of uh, keeping head control there. Very tough for Dada to really do much of anything here, carrying the weight. Of Greco. Good dirty boxing. Let's see if she's able to turn, and she does. She gets Greco to the back. Oh, very good knee from They separated off the cage a little bit here, so he might be able to throw some more strikes. Or if she puts her right back against the fence. Looks like we're going to engage in some knees, but now we're back to the fence. This, this is just a very tough and grimy clinch war going on right Absolutely. now. Starting to throw a couple right hands here and there. A lot of knees, but starting to utilize the fists as well. We continue are. to do work. So working a lot to the body is Grace Greco. Yeah, absolutely. Mixing up really well. That will pay dividends later in the fight. If you get hit in the body, it's like your little power meter just goes down and down and down. Appreciate that. Thank you. That's the end of the second. 